back with another edition of Free Agent Spotlight. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with Motor City Sports Talk. Talking about CJ Mosley, inside linebacker, Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, he could be subject to next 10 days to the franchise tag. Um, but let's talk about him as if he's going to be a free man out here, man. And we talked about pass rushes, and I will get to Trey Flowers, Demarcus Lawrence, and stuff of that nature. We kicked it off with Clowney, Dante Fowler, then yesterday. We talked about in Dominican Sue, so we've really been working the trenches on the defensive side of the ball. But let's talk about C.J. Mosley. We need an inside linebacker. A lot of people want uh, Jared Davis to kick out to the outside. C.J. Mosley is a proven linebacker, um, and he has better size than some of the guys I looked at in the draft so far. Yes, I'm starting my draft evaluation. I got you guys about that. The draft spotlight will come waiting on the um, – Waiting on the um the um combine, but hey, he's six two, two forty one. He ain't the six four, six five type, but he got pretty good size. He's excellent in coverage, and you can feel the hole. So he plays bigger than what he looks like. So um he he's he's a good he's a good get, man, if you can get him, man. Um especially if you don't believe Davis is good in the middle linebacker. Davis is also six two, but he's about uh fifteen, sixteen pounds lighter than um um than um than uh CJ Mosey. CJ Mosey been playing the three four defense with uh, the Baltimore Ravens, but hey, he got girth on him. He got durability as well. He played sixteen games his first year, second game, missed two games his third year, played all sixteen, uh seven in two thousand seventeen he played only missed two games or one game this year. So his whole career he's only missed three games and three starts. Um, this past season, um, he got one interception. Um, he got a, uh, hadn't had no forced fumbles this year, but the year before, he had two of those things. He had a half a sack this year. Um, so he's pretty much good in, in coverage. He had, um, you know, all he had 105 tackles this year. The year before, 132. The year before that, 92, 117, 151. 26 years old. Um, and you know, he's a good player, man. He's a good player. You think about the Baltimore Ravens thinking about, um, hitting him with the franchise tag. In addition to that, um, he's from Alabama. So you got Deshaun Hand, you got him, um, uh, at the SEC pedigree. You got, you know, the good speed, great in coverage. He got the size as far as the, the girth and stuff of that nature and the strength to really hold it down. He got nine career interceptions. Okay. Um, so. He, he a dog, man. He a dog. You know, and I like him a lot, man. But I think he might return to Alabama, though, man. But, I mean, return to Baltimore. But he, he a hell of a player, man. Hell of a player. You can't can't pretty much talk, take it away from him. We need coverage. And Gerard Davis is lacking in coverage, man. He's lacking in coverage. You know, so, you know, we, we the one thing he bring there, he bring – a little bit more size. He ran a, a four six uh, and a forty, so he brings a little bit more size, a little bit more physicality. Um, him and Davis is about the same height. Uh, he might be a little bit more bigger, but you know, if the Lions are looking for a bigger linebacker, then those are going to be pretty much hard to find, especially in the free agent world. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, six four, six five. But right now, a lot of these linebackers are asked to, you know, to cover these fast, twitchy running backs like uh, like Alvin Kamara. You know what I'm saying? Zeke Elliott, he got a little twitchiness out the backfield. Um, you got Todd Gurley. So, a lot of these dudes, man, are, are that's available for the Lions. White, Bush, they all a little bit smaller in height. You know, the 6'4", six, 6'5", six, linebacker don't seem to be available uh, in the number 8 spot or available in free agency, man. You know what I'm saying? He's, like I said before, he's great in coverage. Um, he he he's stone cold killer in the run game as well. Um, and I think I think it's a fit. If you can stop the run, he's good in coverage. I mean, you kick Davis to the outside and let him be the speed demon. You can rush Davis a little bit more in this hybrid four three three four defense. You know, you can you know hopefully he get better and slow down in coverage. But pretty much, you know. Ain't too much out there for interior linebacker, man. You know what I'm saying? It's some, it's some, it's some straight ones out there, but man, you we looking, you know, you don't get no better than C.J. Mosley, man. You know what I'm saying? It don't get no better than him right now, man. And, and he, he good in Baltimore. And that was a top ranked defense last year, up there amongst 
some of the best out there. And you put him in this defense, man, you know, he got some leadership qualities. He got some nastiness to him. He got some dog to him, and that's what you want from your linebacker. You don't want to see him shaking his head saying, my fault, my fault, like Davis all the time. Let Davis roam the outside. You can use him as a rusher. You can use him, you know, you can use him in different ways, especially once he slows down and learn how to, you know, play coverages and, and cover man-to-man. But, you know, you want your middle linebacker to be able to drop in the deep, half, deep middle of the field, stop the run, be able to cover linebackers to the flats or, or coming out the backfield. And C.J. Mosey gives you that ability, smart football player, disciplined football player, and he give you what you want in the middle linebacker, man. So he's high on my list, man, for, for gifts for the Detroit Lions, man. That linebacker position, you solidify it, kick Davis to the outside, and, 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 and look, it looked good, man. You know, if you can bring in another pass rusher, man, and a cornerback, then, you know. But he's going to cost a pretty penny, man. It's going to cost you the bag. And we know historically the Lions don't want to spend the money on free agents. But, man, this dude is worth it, man. He... He is a he is a mean machine man in the middle man, and if they spend the money, I like to spend money on him. Um, I like to spend money on pass rushers. I like to see them go get you know Jalen Ramsey or, or or a veteran cornerback, and there ain't too many veteran cornerbacks out there, man. You know, and uh, and one I'm gonna get to, and I'm gonna give you a hint coming up because I'm gonna stay on the defensive side of the ball for quite some time. It's one guy I really really like out there as a cornerback as a sleeper. You know what I'm saying? His name is Bradley Roby. I believe he out the United, out the Ohio University of Ohio State. And we don't like Ohio State, but Bradley Roby got lost in the sauce in Denver. He 27 years old, man, but you know he pretty good. You know what I'm saying? And I think if you can really get him in a different atmosphere than Denver, I think that's somebody that you could sit out there. You know what? He gonna be better than Nevin Lawson. He gonna be better than Mike Ford for sure. You know, and he he ain't that highly rated man out there as a free agent. So, I mean, it is some some very very um, value picks out there in free agency, man. C.J. Uh, Mosey might not be one of them, but I mean, you got C.J. Anderson and running back out there um, that can help us out with Carryon Johnson, Dion Buchanan who can fill a linebacker role as well. Um, you got some Preston Smith from 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 uh, the Washington. Uh, uh, Redskins, Dante Fowler, we talked about him out there. Um, it's, it's some value picks out there, and that's so crazy about it. Dontrell Inman, the receiver for Indianapolis, he had a great year with um, with um, Indianapolis. Cole Beasley, uh, slot receiver, the Lions looking for a slot receiver to kind of compete with Brandon Powell. John Brown, the receiver from Baltimore, he a free agent. You know what I'm saying? That That's a great fit, and I'm going to get to the offensive side of the ball. The Lions need a deep threat. They can play the slot as well. He can get down deep. John Brown would be a perfect value pick. If you don't go get Odell or Antonio Brown, John Brown gives you that fast twitchy receiver you can put with Marvin Jones. You can put with Kenny Galladay that can stretch the middle of the field. That will be an excellent pick, and we're going to get to a lot of these dudes out here, man. But to finish up on C.J. Mosley, I like him, man. If I'm spending money on a guy like that, young, 26 years old, can stop the run in the middle, can play the pass, and he can bring some nastiness, and he got the Alabama SEC pedigree. That's how you spend your money, man. And it, it fixes a problem for the Lions, man. And you and you all and you got also depth. Of course, you're gonna bring in another middle linebacker to back him up, but you got uh uh Christian Jones on the other side that can play middle linebacker. He played a little bit of Nick Vangio defense, middle linebacker, they run a three four with uh Chicago. You got Jerry Davis that can play the inside as well. Then you can shift Devin Kennard to put his hand in the dirt and rush the passer a little bit more. It works out for the Lions, man, doing that. And then you can, like I said before, Bradley Roby's a value pick. You can get him up in there. And then offensively, you need a receiver that get down the field. John Brown. You know, if you need somebody to compete in the slot, Cole Beasley. I mean, it's a lot of different value picks the Lions can go out there and, be, and get with the money they got and get aggressive. And hopefully they do get aggressive and really start building this thing to really try to go get it. Because last year, the NFL was wide open, man, for the Super Bowl run, man. And we should have been one of those teams up there. But, hey, man, slow and steady win the race. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We'll miss another video. Don't forget we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can reach out to the email if you want to make a donation to the channel. That link's always in the description. Continue to share, share the videos. And I'm going to continue to put it down. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, for your other sports and music entertainment needs and much, much more. Appreciate you guys. Mercy Sports Talk.